What's up guys, it's Kira here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a fashion one and it is five key pieces to start a luxury collection. So this year I have started building a really, really small collection of luxury pieces in my wardrobe. You guys probably know already that I'm all about having less but having good quality pieces. I by no means have an unlimited budget so I'm very careful about the pieces I pick up and I started to get some questions from you guys about what pieces I might recommend to start a collection with not specifically bags, but accessories. And I saw this tag floating around YouTube, so I thought it would be the perfect video to film for you guys. Especially seeing as Christmas is coming up and some of you might be treating yourselves or you might be getting gifts for somebody. So these are just my recommendations. I by no means think that you need luxury pieces in your wardrobe. It's just a few recommendations of pieces that I think are a really nice way to start a luxury collection. Okay, so let's get started. I have five recommendations for you and I'm going to start from the least expensive Expensive, right up to the most expensive. So if you want to know what my five recommendations for key pieces to start a luxury collection are, then keep watching. So number one in my roundup is of course the humble card holder. So many luxury designers have versions of them. You can get card holders from Louis Vuitton, Saint Laurent, Chanel, Gucci, Dior, all of them. They all do beautiful card holders in lots of different styles, lots of different textures, and lots of fun colors. So the one that I am specifically going to talk about is the YSL card holder. I picked this up well over six months ago now. So this particular card holder is in the pebble grained leather and it comes with the beautiful YSL monogram in silver. I think it's about 150 pounds sterling, but if you're buying it in euro, it's usually about 175, 180 euro. So compared to let's say the YSL bags or wallets, it is a lot less expensive. So if you wanted to have a piece of YSL in your collection, this might be a very good place to start. Now the reason why I particularly recommend card holders is because you get so much use out of them. This guy gets used almost every single day. So this also has a little slot in the middle so you can pop in cash or receipts or other cards and then it has two card holders in the front and two card holders in the back. So you can actually get quite a lot of cards in here because it's made from really really good quality grained leather. It holds its shape so so well. It's not going to scratch. You're not going to damage this. Small leather goods like card holders are the perfect way to start a luxury collection because they're relatively inexpensive but they're also really really beautiful they're really functional so you use them every day and you're adding that little touch of luxury into your daily routine or your daily wardrobe so for me this was a fantastic purchase I use it all the time and I would recommend this to anybody who wants a little bit of designer in their collection so this particular one I picked up from Louisa Via Roma I've shopped on there before and they're a fantastic website they're a European brand and they stock loads of different designers. I will leave the link to this one below. So the second piece I would recommend for starting a luxury collection is an agenda. Agendas are not only so, so practical, but they're also perfect for expressing your personal style and just having that little touch of luxury in your day-to-day -day life. Not every designer does them, but many of them have their own versions of them. So brands like Louis Vuitton do beautiful agendas, and this is the PM version, which I picked up in December of 2015. So Christmas last year, I picked this up for myself. The PM size, which I picked up, was about 250 euro. I'm not going to do a full review but I'm just going to show you guys really quickly. It has a beautiful gold button fastener and you open it up and it has card holders here. It has three slots. I also have it embossed with my initials which is such a nice touch. Like I just think it's so sweet that you can get your initials on it. So what I've done with this is I've popped in two different business card holders. These are actually from the Filofax brand and I've popped my business cards in the front for when I need to grab them and also just some loyalty cards. Then of course I have the actual diary refill here. So yes, I think this is a Louis Vuitton product that a lot of people don't think about, but it's actually relatively inexpensive compared to the rest of their collection. So for what you're paying, you're getting something that lasts so so long. Not only is it really really beautiful but it's also really practical as well so I'm so happy with mine. I use it all the time to keep track of all my dates and I also use it kind of as a wallet as well like I keep cards in there so I just think it's really really functional and just a really really good option for an affordable luxury piece. So next up in my roundup for key pieces to start your luxury collection I am looking at sunglasses. Sunglasses are the perfect way to inject a little bit of oomph into your look. So whether 
whether you want to go for a style that's really out there, maybe something that's reflected or oversized or with like a lens tint, they're a really, really good way to kind of inject a bit of personality into your outfit. Not only are they very functional, but they can also be so, so stylish as well. So a good pair of sunglasses are not only going to protect your eyes a lot better than an inexpensive pair will. Even in the winter time, we get lots of glare in the mornings. We get those really bright early sunsets. So it really makes sense to have a, at least one pair of good quality sunglasses in your wardrobe. So I have two in particular that I want to show you and they are both from Celine. So the first style I'm going to show you are the new Audrey. So this is a new take on the Audrey style, which was the classic cat eye. So this is basically a more squared, oversized version of the cat eye sunglasses. Absolutely love them. Like how fabulous are they? I feel like a secret agent or a spy. I love how dark they are. From my perspective, I can see everything perfectly and the tint is not too dark on the lens, but I love that from the outside, they're like really like suspicious. So if you're thinking about picking up a pair of Celine's, this is a really classic style to go for. They're not too big, they're not too statement, but they still really pack a punch. And I personally love the oversized sunglasses. I love having a big pair of black sunglasses that you can just throw on. You know on those days where you just wanna be shielded from the world having a big pair of sunglasses that you can just block everything out with I think is just one of those little luxuries in life that I just love so so much so the new Audrey were my first pair of Celine sunglasses and I adored them so so much and wore them so frequently that I thought it was only fair that I would pick up another pair so I could kind of alternate between them so the second pair I picked up is the Tilda style so as you can see it's very similar to the new Audrey but it's slightly more squared so as you can can see they're very similar to the previous pair but they're a little bit more sharper edge and they're I think a little bit more oversized as well these are also in the tortoise shell finish so both of these pairs I picked up from smart buy glasses so they're an online wholesaler for lots of different designer sunglass brands they do pretty much every style you could think of but they do them at a discounted price which is amazing I guess you could kind of say they're like an outlet an online outlet for designer glasses so if you are looking to pick up a pair of Celine's, I really, really recommend Smart Buy glasses. They have a fantastic range of styles and sizes and they ship very quickly as well. So I will leave a link to them below and I will leave a link to these two particular styles of Celine's if you want to have a closer look at them. Next up in my roundup of key pieces to start your luxury collection, I am looking at the belt. Recently, I decided to invest in one particular belt and it was of course the Gucci Marmont and I picked it up in the brown leather with the gold buckle. Now this belt has definitely been a bit of an Instagram sensation recently. I currently had two belts in my wardrobe and they were wrecked. I mean, absolutely destroyed. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna buy one really, really nice belt and I can wear it with everything and it'll add that little dose of luxury to my look. Now for a designer like Gucci, their belts are a lot less expensive than their bags or shoes or other accessories, but you're getting an extremely well-made belt that will last the test of time. This little gold GG symbol can be found on loads of Gucci's bags and shoes at the moment, but they come in at a lot more expensive than the belts. So if you wanted to add that little pop of gold, that really iconic logo to your look without spending the full whack, a belt is a really, really good way to go. It is an expensive belt, I will not lie, but it is such a beautiful, beautiful piece in my wardrobe. So this belt is selling out everywhere at the moment. It is quite hard to get your hands on. I picked up mine from Luisa Via Roma, and right now they actually do have a full run of sizes. I checked. So if you are looking for this, definitely check them out. They are fantastic. So I will leave links to the different uh, Gucci style belts that they have at the moment so you can have a look. So the very last piece in my roundup for starting your luxury collection is a small bag. Pretty much every designer out there will have a range of bag sizes and if you are looking to pick up something but you don't want to spend upwards of a thousand euro looking at their smaller bags is usually a much much less expensive option so recently over the summer i bought myself the ysl blogger monogram bag it was actually a birthday present to myself and it was definitely a purchase that i have been so so pleased with it lasted really, really well i've gotten so much wear out of it and i really just wanted to include it in this lineup because in terms of the 
the designer itself and how much their bags usually retail at, this was quite the bargain. This is probably one of their most cost effective styles. So if you wanted to pick up a bag, but again, you didn't want to have that full sting of paying, you know, really, really expensive money, getting something like this is a really good way to make it that bit more affordable, but you're still getting a beautiful bag that really can fit quite a lot. If you're interested in this bag, definitely go back and watch my review on it. You will see exactly what you can fit in this and it is a lot more than you think. So that is my roundup of five recommendations for key pieces that you could start your luxury collection with. I'm not saying that you need to buy all of them, but they're just some suggestions for pieces that I have picked up that I was really, really impressed with. As always, I will leave links to everything in the description below. So make sure to check out the description box. There will be loads going on there. If you liked this video, then feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post two new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.